Colorado's capital was filled with legislators today, those currently serving, those who have served in the past. Democrats and Republicans who gathered to remember former Republican House Speaker Hugh McKean, who died suddenly of a heart attack last month. If these hallowed marble halls could talk, imagine the stories that they would tell. Today, let them tell the stories of Hugh McKean and the indelible mark he left on this building and our hearts. It's hard to believe that we're saying goodbye to somebody who was so vibrant, energetic, and taken from us so early. You know, his laugh and his smile were infectious. Hugh McKean loved big. He loved everybody. As a public servant, Minority Leader Hugh McKean cared for his constituents and worked every day to bring their voices to the Capitol. He had a remarkable ability to connect with people making everyone from a gas station attendants to governors feel consequential. Friends, you don't get 60 bills passed and signed by a governor in this building by throwing stones. And I saw firsthand how he brought humility as well as a sense of humor and joy to his work. He loved being a legislator. He loved being a good friend. He loved all the staff in this building. And he loved being part of something greater than him. I think we can help finish Hugh's work beginning today in the here and now because it's pretty darn simple. Live like you, laugh like you, serve like you, and love like you. To do so, we would make Colorado imminently better and would truly finish his work. So my brother, I love you. Hugh McKean is the first state legislator to lie in state since Lieutenant Governor Joe Rogers in 2013.